Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning glory to everyone. God be the glory. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. And we trust and believe that all is well. And to God be the glory for another, another beautiful day. Amen. So we thank God for this Sunday. We truly thank God for each and every one of you all. Amen. So blessing to all and pray that all is well and making sure that everybody can um, hear the volume, making sure that we're up on the volume loud enough. But to God be the glory. We thank God and thumbs up. Good morning um, as we go forth in the word of God on today and uh, miss you all and blessing to you all. And mm -hmm. we are praying for each and every one and thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank God for you all as we continue to do what God has called us to do. Be more of him. Amen. And we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy to God be the glory. It is a blessing to come before you and break the bread of life and bring forth um, life to any dying situation. Amen. So we trust and believe and we thank God for this beautiful time that he has called us to come together to praise the Lord. And we thank God for his grace and we thank God for all of you all on today as others begin to log on. Amen. Um, blessing, blessing, and blessing. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. Amen. Good morning. As the pastor has said, um, and as always, we pray that all is well with you and your family. And, um, and thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for taking the time to join us and worship with us as um, God has laid words upon our heart, scriptures upon our heart. And um, our prayer is always that you will gain an experience here with the Lord, that you will Go further in your relationship with the Lord with what you hear from us today, what God has laid upon our hearts. So um, just be prepared and ready to hear what God has laid upon pastor's heart, to speak a word into your heart, to not only hear the word, but to do the word. Hear this word today and praying that it will be with you the rest of this week for years to come, not just today, but for years to come, um, To so that you will um, experience the deliverance, the manifestation that is needed in your life at this time and for years to come. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a whole, whole sermon all by itself. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You trying to say I talk about? <laughs> to God be the glory. We thank God for his grace and uh, we thank God for his mercy. And once again, blessing, uh, much love to Kingdom Empowerment Ministries and our Facebook Live family. Uh, we thank you all for being with us for this time period and time that God has allowed us to just um, come forth, you know, even as we go forth. I just want to say this and uh, with all sincerely and, uh, you know, we thank God and please, ma'am, please, sir, continue to keep praying for those who are, are sick, not only just sick, but those that are going through um, COVID-19 um, because this, this disease don't, I mean, it, it could hit anybody at any time. That's why it's very important that you and I, we take care of ourselves, but mainly we continue to take care of ourselves. most important in the word of God. Amen. Because the thing is, it's the word that's going to help us. It's the word that's going to continue to get us through prayer changes thing, prayer, prayer, the prayers of the righteousness. Amen. So we just want to thank God for each and every one of y'all and knowing that prayer changes thing. Amen. How many of you know, you know, this is where we got to continue to keep praying for one another. Even when you feel better, you still got to keep praying. Amen. Because how many of you know the devil, the enemy does not let up. Amen. His M.O. M.O. Major objective. I'm telling you, his M.O. is to what? Kill, steal, steal and, and destroy. destroy. Mm -hmm. Don't put a period behind that, John 10, 10. But Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That Zoe life must be in Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, you and I, we are nothing. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? So this is where we have to continue to trust God in the midst of the pandemic, there's still promotion. 
there's still provision and his promises is still there in the midst of the pandemic. Amen. Mm -hmm. And more important, you know, there's still life. Amen. There is still life. Um, when you are in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and savior, we still have life regardless of what is happening around us. Um, because you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, our, our bodies, our physical yes. bodies, they will deteriorate. It will return back to the earth. But, um, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and savior and we're following him, we believe him. We believe on him. Mm -hmm. We trust in him. Mm. Then there is life after this body deteriorates. You know, there, there is life when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So that's why, you know, um, you know, yes, we have our moments. We will have mm. moments where, you know, we're depressed, we're, um, we're mourning, and it's all a part of life. But I get excited when I get past those mm. moments Glory, because hallelujah. I remember my who Lord. Jesus Christ Amen. is. Amen. I remember who, whose child I am. I remember Amen. that there is the almighty God that says there is life. Amen. There is life after this. There is eternal life yes. where we don't experience, where there is no experience mm. of, of mm. death and wow. sickness and viruses, mm. um, poverty. Mm. There is none of that in my heaven. Lord. My when, Lord. But if we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and yes. Savior, yes. there is everlasting life. Wow. And, um, and you said something earlier here, Pastor, where um, you, cause it reminded me of something that we were talking about this morning. Because you said, um, you know, we have to remember to pray for one another mm -hmm. and look after each other. Um, you know, I was telling my children, you know, that there's nothing that I wouldn't do for my kids, for our children, for our grandchildren, you know. But 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 one thing I would, what we want, what we desire for our children to know not only know the Lord and have a relationship with him, mm -hmm. but once we leave this earth, we want them to always take care of each other, look after each other, help one another. And this is what we have to do. We have to help each other. Mm -hmm. um, and remember that the decisions that we make, the decisions that we make, they don't only affect us. Wow. They, they will affect um, Generation so many, things. so many people Amen. that we don't even have a clue. Amen. We never <clears throat> have a clue of how many people we we will affect with the decisions that we make. Yes, yes, <coughs> and that is, that is a blessing. That's why it's very important to show love, and we thank God for the love of each and every one of you all that's joining us. To God be the glory, and we bless and truly believe that all is well. And I'm telling you, I um, just want to say, you know, um, some thankful and we're grateful for the word of God. Most of all, we're thankful and grateful that we can continue to pray for one another and continue to be a blessing to one another. Amen. And Facebook Live and not only just Facebook Live, but I'm telling you, we thank God for Kingdom Empowerment Ministry. We thank God for your mm -hmm. faithfulness. We thank God for your dedication. We thank even those who have subscribed to YouTube, um, not just sowing seed, but um, I'm telling you, it's the word of God. Because when it all said and done, you know, uh, we have to speak the word in any situation that doesn't look good or even if it look good because it's the word that brings us out. Amen. So we thank God once again for you all as you, as we continue to go forth in the word of God, blessing to all of y'all and much love. I'm telling mm. you, the Bible said love covers, amen, a multitude of sin. I mean, the thing about it is that this is where you know, we have to continue to have compassion, forgiveness, and show love for one another. Compassion, forgiveness, and love for one another. Compassion, forgiveness, and love for one another. God forgive you, mm -hmm. so you ought to forgive the other person. Amen? So we bless God for that on today as we go forth, and uh, we'll start off with, um, continue, I'm sorry, with, um, song 91 and after the reading of song 91 we'll come back and bless the tithe and offering and I'm telling you um, wow 
my God. And we thank God for it. And you can just share with them different ways that um, they desire to give. And we bless God mm -hmm. for your uh, for your generosity of giving um, local and long distance. It is a blessing. Amen. It is a blessing to serve the Lord. It is a blessing to give God praise on today. And I'm telling you, we just, we're thankful and grateful. Um, but continue to trust God through the works of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you know, Pastor, you know, showing compassion, forgiveness, and love, you know, it's, that's not an easy thing to do. Mm. Sometimes we find it very hard to do, especially when someone has offended us. Mm. Um, they've mistreated us. Um, mm. They've used us, mm. uh, abused us. Mm. That's not an easy thing to do. Wow! But we can do that. Come on. <laughs> Again, Come on. when we are in Jesus Christ, Amen. When He is in us, Amen. We can do that. And, and you know what? We have to learn to do it. Yes. We have to learn yes. to do. It. We have yes. to get to that place to be able to do it. Because it's easy to show compassion, forgiveness, mm -hmm. and love. To those that love us, Amen. It's easy to do when they do when they're doing it to us. But the Bible says, "What good is that to you when you can do? Anybody can do that, Amen. Anyone can do that, but you have to be in Christ to be able to do such things, Amen. And the thing is, can you love the unlovable? Mm. Can you love the unlovable? We we're gonna go ahead and go forth, Amen. I, I'm telling you, God is. In this season, I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers, I'm telling you, this is where, you know, when you think things look bad on you or in your household or your surrounding, take a look around. Hmm. Amen. God is still good. God is still good. And God is faithful to his promise. And it, what is his promise? His promise is the word of God, is the word of God. Regardless of what goes on around you in the area, it doesn't matter. Because watch this. We serve a big God. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. We serve a big God, an awesome God. So you might say, I got this big problem. I got this going on. I got that going on. I got this going on. And, the, and, and, and here it is. Glory. Hallelujah. Stop complaining about your big problem. Tell the big problem how big your God is. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. <laughs> mm. That's all you got to do. Amen. Wow. Psalm 91. We good? We're good. Psalm 91. Once again, good morning to all and good morning to every one of y'all on this morning. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91. Amen. And then we'll come back and go with the blessing of the orphan and we'll move right on into the word of God. God is good, y'all. I'm telling you, I, I don't care how bad things look. I mean, we still got to give God praise. We still got to give him glory. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. And, um, and as always, you know, I'm going to read the leading. I'm going to lead the reading of mm -hmm. Psalm 91, but we ask that you read along with us. And I know, look, I can hear someone saying, you know, I've read this before. I read Psalm read 91. Read it all the time. Read it again. Read it again. Do it again. And this is what, you know, the, the scriptures are about. Read it again. Repeat it again. Constantly mm -hmm. speaking the word over your life. Getting it in the very core of your spirit. Getting it in your memory bank. Mm -hmm. Getting it in, keeping it in your heart. So that, uh, you know, when, when you're faced with trials and tribulations mm -hmm. or even when you're not faced with anything. Yes. When you just when you're going about your everyday living, begin to rehearse that word over and over again in your heart. Um, look, in, instead of rehearsing what someone has done to you, mm. someone has offended you, instead of rehearsing that, rehearse the scriptures. Amen. Speak that word. And see, this is where when we can get to the point of mm -hmm. forgiving. Yes. And loving and yes. being compassionate with yes. others. Because the, the, the scriptures, when, yes. when someone hurts you, it just automatically comes up in your core, wow. in your very spirit. And it comes up out of your mouth Amen. because it's in your heart. Yes. This is what you want in your heart, not the offense. You want the scriptures and mm -hmm. the word in your heart so that you can begin to speak that thing over your life or speak the word and the blessings mm. over your life and Whew. begin to speak blessings Jesus. over your enemy. 
the blessing of the Lord make us rich and add us no sorrow. Mm. Psalm 91. Yes. So again, read along with me. Psalm 91 in the King James Version. It reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That hymn we're talking about is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the word of God, for the people of God, and all that love the Lord, we thank God and say amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, if you agree with that in Psalm 91. Amen. Just some amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen on today. Just hands of praise or just, just type in amen. We thank God for Psalm 91. Canopy of protection, and we know that the Holy Bible, the words of God, the 66th book that we read helps us to keep going on and on. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Canopy of protection, my Thanks sisters and brother. Amen. Psalm 91. Hallelujah. It's, it's the word that protects. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 91, amen, amen, and a amen, hallelujah. Me and amen, now we're not finished yet, amen, me and <laughs> amen, we're just getting started, amen, hallelujah. <laughs> so, um, if you have a desire, if God has placed a desire upon your heart to sow a seed to this ministry, into this ministry, um, you can do so one of two ways. You can uh, mail your check or your money order to our P.O. Box, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, this P.O. Box 544 Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. Again, that's P.O. Box 544 Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. Um, if you want to give electronically, you can do so through Givelify. That's um, Givelify, G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y, and you can go there, Givelify.com. Um, and you can give on that platform. You will just search for Pastor Samuel Middleton or Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, and you can give on that platform. And as always, we can't tell you how much we appreciate every gift, every seed, every prayer mm. that you sow into this ministry. Um, and we speak blessings upon your life, and we speak that um, God will open up doors, yes. windows yes. of blessings upon your life for you and your family. And understanding that this is part of your worship mm -hmm. unto the Lord. And, you know, we're not concerned. No one should be concerned about the amount that you're giving. This is between you and the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever he lays upon your heart, um, you do so um, by trusting him and, and knowing that he's covering you, making provisions for you, protecting you and yes. your family and your household. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. And we thank God for y'all. And we thank God for the, um, like I said, not just sores, but praying also for us and praying for the ministry, praying for as we move forward in God, in his word. And we thank God for the Holy Spirit 
um, the unseen givers internationally, um, local and long distance. It is a blessing. Um, I'm telling you, and we thank God for you all. Um, there's one scripture that comes to mind that I want to read in <coughs> Genesis 8 and 22. Um, in times like these, we need the word. Amen. Genesis 8 and 22, it said, while the earth remaineth seed time. Mm -hmm. Seed time. Seed time and harvest. Your seed and the time you spend with God in the word of God produces your harvest. <clears throat> Genesis 8 and 22. And cold and heat and summer and winter. Cold and Heat, summer, and winter, the four season, spring, summer, winter, and fall. When should I give seed? When should I sow? All year long. Don't stop. Amen. It said, and day and night shall not cease. This is where we have to continue to keep giving to the Lord. Amen. Keep giving unto the Lord. So this is where... The Bible tells us while the earth remaineth. Amen. And, the, and let me let me just say this before we bless this offering. One thing about when you think about the word of God and we thank God for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for these holy angels that watches over us each and every day. Um, unseen angels be unaware that you never know who you might be entertaining. That's what the word of God said. Un unaware angels always around. Uh, when something should have happened to you, should have happened to your son, your daughter, your child, um, your husband, your wife, it doesn't matter. The point is, what it boils down to is that here it is, angels are always on a sign assignment. Angels are always on a sign assignment to protect you. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, you got to call forth the, Michael, the Warren Angels. Amen? You got to call for us, Gabriel, the blessed angels afterward. Amen. Michael, just the <clears throat> warring angel, he shifts with his company and moves some things out of the way. So Gabriel can come forth and say, hail, like he did Mary. Blessed, you are favored. Amen. So we thank God for the word of God and we thank God for the offering on today um, as we bless the offering. Amen. Mm -hmm. You want to bless it? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we just bless you. We thank you for the opportunity, God. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the understanding, the, the knowledge and the revelation that you have shown us and taught us mm -hmm. about how to give, God, and what to give and when to give. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that, that you have given us the ability to be able to earn yes. money, to be able to earn this. But yes. Lord, we know that it is you that is our source, God. Mm -hmm. So Lord, we give back to you, God, thank what you, is Lord. rightfully yours, God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you have taught us again that it is not about the amount, God. You are thank concerned you, about our hearts, God. So thank you, God, for giving us the heart mm. to give, God. Give for giving us a heart of love, God, of joy, ready to give mm. God. Thank you, Lord, that, that we are excited Thank about you, giving back to you, God, because we know that when, when you give back to us, God, mm. when it comes back to us, when it is returned back mm. to us, God, Thank you, Lord. it is an abundance, God. Glory, hallelujah. And it never ends, God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, we just bless you. We honor you, God. Mm. And we thank you for your covering, your protection over our lives, God, as we worship unto you, Lord, thank you, Lord. in our giving, God. So we just thank you for all your many wonderful blessings. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Amen. So we, we bless God for you all, and we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God. Um, and amen. Amen mean that we are in agreement. We are in agreement. Most of all, with anything and not just anything, but mainly the word of God, the 66 books that's in the Bible. Amen. That's why you got the Old Testament and the New Testament. But to God be the glory for all the wonderful thing that he has done. Amen. Yes. Once again, good morning to all of you all. Um, blessing to all of you all and blessing, blessing, blessing 
Um, the word blesses us and we are to bless the Lord each and every day he allow us to um, breathe. Amen. It, he allows us to get up and we thank God for the breath that he given to each and every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. So we, um, the Bible said, let everything that have breath, what? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> so this is, this is not a time to be quiet. This is not a time to be silent. Amen. This is a time not to make noise, but praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, there's no limit, you know, there's no boundaries on praising the Lord. Hmm. You know, when you, as long as you're breathing, <laughs> It's an opportunity to praise the Lord. And, you know, this is what I love. You know, God has, you know, there's a song that I like <clears> to listen to. You know, God has, he's given us the very breath. It is his breath that is in our lungs. Mm -hmm. So every, everything that we say, we need to, we need to remind ourselves yes. that we owe it to him to speak highly mm. of God, to praise him in everything that we do and say. Um, so when you have an opportunity to breathe, yeah, it's, it's yes. the fact that it is his breath in our very lungs. So again, we owe him that. We Amen. owe him that much to Amen. praise him. Um, and, when, you know, and praising God is not just, you know, walking around saying hallelujah all day <laughs> long. We're praising God when we say, thank you, Lord, for this. Yes. When we're remembering to honor him. We thank in him in everything that that we speak of. You know, um, I like to go to the gym. I go and I exercise. So, you know, um, there's one, an, an instructor there, which I, you know, I love that she reminds us, we don't just exercise, we get to exercise. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, in doing that, I thank God that I get to exercise. So I be, instead of using the words to complain about, Oh, this is hard. I don't want to do this. I don't mm -hmm. want to wake up. Use the words, the breath that I have use those words to begin to thank God in those things. Um, yes. Yeah. And I, and again, we have moments where times are hard. We're mm -hmm. going through some things. Yeah. We may speak some things, but then we, we always have an opportunity to go back and correct some things that we have said Amen. that we have said, um, you know, out of anger, out of hurt, out of pain, we get to go back and say, Lord, forgive me for saying this. But I thank God that, you know, I can be honest and truthful with the almighty God. Hmm. So, but anyway, Again, I, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just excited for the very breath that I have yes, in my lungs. Yes, yes, um, That yes, I can use my yes, mouth to speak yes, blessings, to thank God. I'm yes, just so excited yes. about the very day that he's my given Lord. me. Huh. So um, now's the time for Pastor to preach the word that God has laid upon his heart. So I pray that you are ready and you are excited to hear this word and um, to let the word get into your heart. And again, not only to be hearers of the word, to, but to also be doers of his word and learning how to apply this to your life. So I'm going to step aside for the moment um, while pastor preaches the word, but um, I pray that you will be able to come back and join us um, for our segment of after church, which will take place um, probably around about 1130, 1135. Um, we will come back with our segment of after church where we will come, come back and discuss <coughs> how to apply the word to our lives. Okay. Amen. You ready, Pastor? Amen. Blessing <laughs> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. We got to continue to bless the Lord and at all time, his praises went, will continually be in our mouth. Amen. So we, we thank God for that and we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy on today. Amen. To God be the glory for all and everything that he has done. Amen. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. So we, we thank God for that. To God be the glory. Hallelujah for everything. Hallelujah. So we bless God on today. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 My God. Hallelujah. I'm just thankful and grateful, um, you know, just um, enough, 
I ain't gonna say enough, but a lot has been said already this morning, and we thank God for that. And I, I was like, wow, you know. And this is where, when you know that God is truly doing what He said He's going to do. One thing about God, God does not change and go back on His word. People turn back, people go back on God, but God is always there. He is faithful to His promise, faithful to His word. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for each and every one of you all on today and um, to God be the glory. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for every listener. Father, we thank you, dear God, for every viewer. Father, we bless you right now. We speak life. We speak strength. Father, most of all, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, dear God, touching them right now in the name of Jesus. Someone might have aches or pain in their body or going to even those Father, who've been dealing with symptoms of COVID-19. Father, we declare and we decree, we declare and we decree Isaiah 53 and 5. Glory, hallelujah. Father, we thank you, dear God. We're praying, dear God, for healing, dear God. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. We're praying for healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare and we decree, dear God, that the listeners, Father, we thank you, dear God, that the viewers will receive your word with joy, with gladness, dear God, that they can share it with others, dear God. And Father, we thank you for healing. We thank you most of all for the Holy Spirit that's going to bring forth and teach the word of God on today. We bless you and we honor you for your son. It is, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, 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 amen. To God be the glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy on today. Wow. God is good, y'all. God is good all the time and all the time he is good. I want to go to um, how the um, didn't realize and recognize. And a lot of time when God give you something, um, there's two scriptures that I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 13, 31 and 32 and Mark's gospel chapter 4 30 and 32 and we're, we're talking about this the title is sowing reaping and manifestation time and this will be part three of the subtitle which is where we're going to talk about the mustard seed the smallest of all is the mustard seed i don't care what kind of seed it is an apple orange it doesn't matter the mustard seed is the smallest of them all. Amen. But let me just say this before we read these two scriptures, because one of the thing is the Lord, uh, when God gives you something um, to share, when God gives you something to teach, God gives you something to um, preach on, um, you never know um, as far as how he's going to do it. We just have to be obedient. And listen and hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Amen. So that's where, you know, um, didn't realize God wanted me to continue to go on with this. This would be part three. However, you know, um, the Lord say we're going to continue to lay the foundation. And in times like these, we need that solid word. Amen. We need the solid word to continue to take us through the things that we're going through. It's the word that pulls you. Oh my God, it's the word that takes you through some things that you need to go through. It's the word of God. Amen. It's God's word. When it all said and done, I need the word. Yes, we understand the singing. We understand the praise and worship. We understand praying. We understand all that. But when it all said and done, I need the word. Amen. It's the word. Amen. So turn with us to Matthew gospel. I want to read these two scriptures. And then we're going to go to Mark gospel, the two coin side by side. Amen. Uh, when you think about the synoptic gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, they pretty much complement one another. Amen. So these are the four gospel. But today we want to deal with the one that's in Matthew. Then we're going to move on to Mark and we're going to see what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew gospel chapter 13 verses 31 and 32 and it says another parable put he forth unto them saying this is jesus speaking to his disciples amen the kingdom of heaven is like 
to a grain of mustard seed. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about which God still got me on this thing about the seed. Amen. It's about the seed. We want different thing. We want this harvest, but we got to release and let go of that seed. Another parable put he forth unto them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. He just took it and sowed in his field. Verse 32 said, which indeed is the least of all seeds. It's the smallest. It's the least of all other seed. Amen. That when he sow it, amen, hallelujah, the least of all, amen. But when it is grown, mean that when it comes up, when it, when it comes up, amen, when it comes up, 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 amen, when it goes up, when it comes up, this is what the Bible is saying, amen, hallelujah, it said, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs and become a tree, so the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches, therefore, amen, the bird need a, a lodging place, amen, Hallelujah. So let us turn to Mark Gospel chapter 4. Mark Gospel chapter 4, verses 30 and 32. Amen. 30 and 32. 30 and 32. Uh, 30 through 32. I'm sorry. Uh, it said verse 30 in Mark Gospel chapter 4, verse 30. Amen. I pray to God that this is the word of God for the people of God, and this is where God wants us to not only just read the surface, but he wants us to take time to go a little deeper in his word and deeper in his study and understanding. That's why we have to sit, submit, and obey what the word of God is saying to us. Amen. And he said, whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? See, the other one talks about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, Matthew now we in Mark. It said, whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? They asked Jesus a question. Or with what comparison shall we compare it? And then he said, it is like a grain of mustard seed. He didn't say it is, it's like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown into the earth, when it is sown into the earth, is less than all the seeds, less than all the seed that be in the earth, but when it is sown, it groweth up and become greater than all herbs and shooteth out great, great branches. It, oh my God, did you catch that? It didn't say just branches, but great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Amen. Hallelujah. So we bless God for the word of God and we thank God for the people of God and let us say amen as we move forth, as we go forth and say what God say. I don't want to say what Samuel's saying. I want to say what the Lord is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to speak what God is speaking to me. See, what I just read, let me just clarify that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What I just read mm, is the written word, which is the Logos. The Logos, the written word. We read the Logos, but we are listening with our ears, but mainly with our spirit man to hear a rhema to speak to the people of God for any situation that you're going through, and when the word comes to, oh my God, the word comes to heal, the word come to deliver, the word come to set the people of God free, hallelujah. The Bible said, whoever the son of man set free is free indeed, amen? Free to worship, free to praise him, free to give him glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. So today, as we said, we're talking about Part three, titled Sowing, Reaping, and Manifestation Time. And I know 
when you think about it, the subtitle, we're talking about the mustard seed, the smallest seed of them all. But the Bible said when it, when it comes up, when it comes up, the Bible also tells us, be not despised of small beginning. Oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. It's not where you start. As long as you start is where you're going to end up. My God, as long as you end up knowing that God started, the Bible said, he who begins a good work in you shall, will finish it. Amen. And I, and, and that's enough to say, Lord, I, I give you praise right now. I give, I give all to you. Hallelujah. Not some, but I give all to you. Amen. So when you think about it, as we look at this word right here in Matthew's gospel, 13, 31 and 32, and Mark gospel chapter 4, 30 and 32. And we thank God for that teaching on last week where we talked about the four types of hearers. Amen. Hallelujah. Where the word would fall on. But this week we're talking about the seed, the mustard seed. Mustard seed are not noticeable until it becomes the greatest of all other seeds that was planted in the earth. Amen. Small but mighty. Mm. Tiny but mighty. Ah, oh, my God. You know, I, I, I've always heard a saying, first lady, small things comes in what? Big package. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. So thank God for his grace and we thank God for the word of God and we thank God for the people of God and we thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this is where, when you think about it, kingdom work, kingdom work is birth small, but it expand beyond the borders of the full wall of the building. I'm going to say it again. Kingdom work. I didn't thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. I didn't say church church work. Kingdom. Kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Kingdom work is birth small, but it expands beyond the borders of the full wall of the building of the church. Kingdom work. It starts small, just like the mustard seed. But when it comes up, oh my God, glory, hallelujah. The Bible says, even the bird begin to lodge. Amen. E even the bird begin to hang around. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. My God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. A lot of time you, you might say to yourself, people of God might say, well, um, you know, individual might say, well, you know, I, I don't, I didn't see them friend then when I was going through, I didn't see those associate or the people that I used to when I was going through, but now that I came, oh my God, that's, that's going to preach. Now that I came out, it wasn't me that came out, but while I was going through, no one called glory hallelujah when i was going through no one even text no oh my god glory hallelujah but no but now they see that you're up oh my god you're out oh my god you're blessed your favor and all of a sudden the phone ring the text come oh my god i'm blessing helping somebody oh my god but glory hallelujah but still yet the bible tells us Say, pray for those who despitefully hate or use you. Amen. You got to still pray for your enemy. It doesn't matter because let me say this. God blesses. The Bible said it rains on the just and the unjust. Amen. Hallelujah. No house is exempt. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. I think no house is exempt. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh my God. So this is where you got to pray for other people, regardless of the storm that you've been in, regardless of the turmoil that you've been dealing with, the frustration, the anger, glory. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your seed was just being tested. 
Mm, my God. That's what I heard the Holy Spirit said. It was your seed was being tested going through. Oh, my God. You know how, like, sometimes you got to send things to the laboratory, send things to the lab and different things before it, it has to be tested. And you'll see that the things that you've been experiencing, the things that you've been going through, the things, but, oh, my God, the turmoil, glory, hallelujah, oh, my God. It didn't turn you over. It just turned you more to God. Mm, thank you, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. It just turned you more to God, to trust God in all the things that you experience and the things that you go through. The mustard seed, mustard seed is the smallest of them all. Hallelujah. My God. You might say, they didn't see me back then when I was going to what I'm going to, but glory, hallelujah. But look at me now. I'm the same person. Glory, hallelujah. Not the same person, but I thank God for bringing me out because it's God that brought me out. It's God that brought me through with the work of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, kingdom work is birth small, but it expands beyond the, the borders, the four walls of the church. A mustard seed is a symbol of faith. That's all it is. The mustard seed is a symbol of faith. It starts small and increase and enlarge in other territories that God has assigned it to. Amen? That's what it does. That's what it does. Look at Psalm 126 verses 5 and 6. The book of Psalm. Psalm 126 5 and 6. Amen? Psalm 126 It said, this is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. And I know a lot of times we go through some things, but this is God's word. This is God's word for his people. Amen. This is, this is God's word. It's the word of God. Psalm 126, 5 and 6. It said, they that sow in tears. If you sow in tears, this is, this is what the, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for, Je oh my God, don't you love Jesus? Hallelujah. Just give God some praise. Amen. Don't you love Jesus? Not only just on today, but every day. I mean, this is where, you know, revelation, oh my God, as we open the book, as we read his word, God give us, as we read the Logos, God begin to speak to us the rhema word. Amen. Five and six, it said, they, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Sow in tears. You're going to reap in joy. This is what the Bible says. Amen. It's in the book. Hallelujah. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, and bringing she with him. I'm telling you, hallelujah. One thing about God, this is where when he said, as you sow those tears, oh my God, you're going to reap in joy. Amen. Even Psalm 35 said, weeping might do for a night, but what? Joy comes in the morning. He didn't say which morning. He didn't say what morning, but you keep, oh my God, it's coming. Amen. The mustard seed as, the, as you've been sowing. The mustard seed. Because this is where when you think about it, if you sow doubt, if you sow doubt, you're going to reap doubt. If you sow unbelief, guess what? You're going to reap unbelief. If you sow doubt, you're going to get doubt. If you sow unbelief, you're going to get unbelief. If you sow nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> nothing from nothing leave what? Nothing. 
as the song says, you got to have something. So sow and give it to God. The mustard seed faith. That's what is symbol of faith is symbolic. That's what it is. The mustard seed is a symbol of your faith, releasing your faith in God. Amen. And not only that, if you so good, we can't leave that out. If you so good, guess what? You're going to reap good. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Everyone wants to be a star. Let me just say this. Everyone, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. God is good, y'all. Oh, my God. God, we serve an awesome God. The mustard seed is the smallest of them all. Amen. Everyone wants to be a star in the entertainment world, but not many wants to take, watch this, take it at Take his time to be inspired and edified in the word of God. Everyone wants to be a star in the entertainment world, meaning that they want it quick. They want it fast. But this mustard seed takes time. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hear you. The mustard seed takes time. The Bible said, even, the, oh, my God, when, 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 it, when, it's, when it's grown, it's it's, it, it, it shoots branches. It said great branches from all areas. Oh, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Quick and fast is not the right way to do it. Amen. God takes his time. Amen. He takes his time. Amen. A baby, it, it takes nine months. Some come early. Seven months, premature, eight, it doesn't matter. But still yet, God takes his time with that seed in the wound. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And, 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 he, and, 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 and it develops the head, the arms, and all the body parts. Who can do that much but God? Amen? Oh, my God. Hallelujah. You are a seed in the wound. Amen? That's all, that's all we are. And this is where we have to, oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Mm. My God, let me just say this. Yes. In days and times like what we're living in, we can't stop. We will not stop. We shouldn't stop. You were predestined. Mm. Yes, Lord. Predestined to serve God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Predestined, amen? God got this. God got you, amen? God got all of us, amen? He's, he has the whole wide world in his hand, amen? Oh, my God, hallelujah. Mm, my God. Let me just say this. A mustard seed takes time, number one. Amen? A mustard seed takes time. Number two, you must protect your seed. Oh, my God. Mm. One, a mustard seed takes time. Number two, you got to protect your seed. Oh my God! <laughs> you can, oh my God! <laughs> Everybody can't be blessing your seed. Everybody can't be praying over your seed. Everybody can't be speaking over your seed. You, oh my God! Watch this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. I'm reminded of Moses. Moses was, you know, heritage when he was born. His mama hid him. Oh my God! She protected that seed. Oh my God! Mo. Oh, she protected that seed, amen? She put him in the Nile River, amen? Now, uh, you would think, put him in the Nile River, first lady, alligators and different kind of things would, 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 oh my God, because of her faith symbol of her seed, God protected it to meet her need. Ah, oh, my God. Woo, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. And the same thing, in the same way he's doing with you and I, my sisters and brothers in Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, 
The same way Moses' mother, she protected that seed. And God said, since you protect that seed, I'm going to meet your need. Mm, my God, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Like I said, one, a mustard seed takes, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. Everything quick and fast. This is not a Burger King religion. This is not a, come on, go to the drive-thru. We, we get it at the drive-thru. We get it at the drive-thru, and all of a sudden, it's not hot. It's not right. Then we got to pull inside. Then we, glory, we want to go in. Amen? A mustard seed. That's what we're talking about. Amen? A mustard seed takes time. You, number two, you must protect it. You must protect your seed. You must protect your seed. Who can, thank you, Holy Spirit, who can protect your seed better than you? Amen? It's just like your kids. You, you, you got to pray over your kids. Amen? You, gotta, you can't wait to say, well, oh, they, first lady, Pastor Jackie, they take prayer out of school. No, they ain't take prayer out of school. You pray with your kid before they go to school. You send in the prayer to school because prayer is in you, that seed, and it goes in your kid. Glory, hallelujah, it goes in your child. Amen? It's still in the school. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for that, dear. It's still in the school. Amen? And that's why we have to do our part as the body of Christ. Amen? Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I just feel like just praising God. Hallelujah. Worshiping God. Thanking God for his favor. Thanking God for his glory. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. We got to get back to this word. I, I, I got to finish this, y'all. I got I to gotta finish this. Amen. Let me finish this. Mm, my God. You're like, Pastor, you wrong. You took us up on the high and you brought us back down. Amen. <laughs> Ah, oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. God is good all the time. Number one, as, as we say, let's get back to this. A mustard seed takes time. Number two, you must protect your seed. You got to protect your seed. Amen. And number three, you must speak to your seed. Speak to your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. My wife, um, I'm the green thumb, which she isn't, but to God be the glory. And I tell her, look, get away from my plant. Don't even put water on it. So I got to protect, <laughs> not only protect, but I got to speak to my plants. Amen. And how many of you know what I'm talking about? If you grow flowers, you have plant, you got to nourish it. You got to take care of it. You got to speak to it. And I'm, I'm telling you, glory, hallelujah. You got to speak to it. You, you got to talk to it in order for it to come up. Amen. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Number one, a mustard seed takes time. Number two, you must protect your seed. Amen. Number three, you must speak to your seed. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Because if you don't speak to your seed, guess what? The devil is sure mighty well speaking to it. He is sure speaking to your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. And what he's speaking. He, you and I both know when the devil, the devil ain't speaking nothing good to your seed. Ah, don't give it to them, God. Oh, don't bless them, God. He, oh my, we, we said it earlier, what John 10, 10 said. Amen? Hallelujah. So number, number three, you must speak to your seed. Number four, your seed knows your voice. Ah, my God. Your seed knows your voice. Amen? And number, number, your seed knows your voice, number four. And number five, you must water your seed with the word of God. You must water your seed with the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I'm going to go back over those again. I pray that you, you grab hold of this. Number one, a mustard seed takes time. Number two, you must protect your seed. Number three, you must speak to your seed. Number four, your seed knows your voice. And number five, you must water your seed, what? With the word of God. What do you mean? Speaking the word, praying the word. The Bible says in Genesis 1, 1 and 2, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, the earth without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the depth. And God said, 
let there be light. Amen. You got it. I'm telling you, you got to speak the word. Hallelujah. Mm. And this is where, as you and I know, as well as you release your seed, you are releasing your faith in God, knowing that your seed is going to produce, is going, is destined to produce a harvest because you, be, you believe what the word of God said. We're talking about the mustard seed, sowing, reaping, and manifestation time. Oh my God, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. God is good, y'all. Hallelujah. In closing, let me just say this. In closing, everything starts with a seed. Everything starts with a seed. The Bible tells us in Luke 8, 11. In Luke 8 and 11, it said, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Mm. Luke chapter 8, verse 11. Luke 8 and 11. You can go there in your spare time. But Luke chapter 8 and verse 11, it said, Jesus said, now the parable is this. And he taught many things in parable to his disciple. Amen. He said, the seed, what is the word of God? What do you mean? The seed is the word of God. All right, we're going to get to it. <laughs> Hold tight. We're going to get to it. It said the seed is the word of God. The mustard seed is the smallest of them all. All is the smallest of them all. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. This is where, thank you, Holy Spirit, we have to continue to keep praying, keep believing, keep fasting, mm, my God, and speaking God's word because it's, it's manifestation time. Because I, I, I feel the spirit where a lot of, a lot of individuals are saying, uh, not only enough is enough, saying, when are we going to not only just get back to enjoyment, um, not just entertainment, but this is where we have to stay inspired and encouraged in the word of God. The Bible said David encouraged himself where? In the word of God. He encouraged himself in the word of God. The world is there. But many times we put, oh my God, we barely pick up the word of God. The world is there to give you the news. The world is there to tell you this. The world is there to show you this. The world is there to show you that. And I'm not knocking that. I understand that. But when it all said and done, glory, hallelujah. Oh, my God. It's the word that's going to help us. It's God's word. It's the holy scriptures that's going to help us in times like these. What's going on is, watch this. It didn't surprise God. But God said, this is where I need you, my sisters and brothers, to stick and stay with the word. Stay with the word. Stay with the word. Stay, stay, stay. Stay with the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. This is where, then if we are speaking the word of God, then we must ask ourselves, what seed am I speaking? If we are not Listen at, if we are not speaking the word of God, we are not speaking God's word, then what seed am I speaking? Because the Bible says in Luke 8, we just read it. The seed what? Is the word of God. Every situation, everything you experience, everything that you go through, go to the word. The, the word is going, oh my God, glory, hallelujah. The, the word is going to help bring you out because it's God's word. It's the breath that we breathe, the air that we breathe in and out. It's the Lord's. Amen. Hallelujah. 
So like I said, then if we are not speaking the word of God, then we must ask ourselves, what seed am I speaking? Because your word produced your harvest. Oh my God. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your word, your word, your word, your word produce your harvest. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word of God. Hallelujah. My God. Then if we, I'm, I'm telling you, your word produces your harvest. We must, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just for a moment, listen at this. We must be proactive with our seed so the ground can be reactive. We must be proactive with our seed so the ground can be reactive. Please, ma'am, please, sir, don't deactivate your seed. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. And I'm about finished. Hallelujah. We must be proactive with our seed so the ground can be reactive. Please, ma'am, please, sir, don't deactivate your seed. John 3.16. John 3.16 sums it up. John 3.16. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he did what? The only seed that he had, he sowed it, his son, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe him shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Life, everlasting life, because I grab hold to this word. I grab hold to the seed of Jesus Christ. I got this seed. Oh, my God. And this seed is going to help meet not only my need, the seed helped meet not only your need, your children needs, your children, children, the seed that you sow now. Oh, my God, will affect generation to come. The seed that you sow now will affect generation to come. My God, hallelujah. Mm, my God, the mustard seed, as the Bible said, is the smallest. My God, oh my God, I, I gotta, I, I'm gonna try to close on right, right on this one. I'm, I'm telling you, last but not least, let me just say this. I'm telling you, God is good, y'all, all the time. Mm. We bless God for you all. We bless God for the word of God, for the people of God. I'm telling you, don't give up on God. Why? Because it's all about him. Amen? God, family, everybody else. God, family, everybody else. It's the cross. Amen? Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Last but not least, let me just say this. You must keep your seed. You. Only you. Who can protect your seed better than you? Oh, my God. You must keep your seed in motion and moving. Ah, oh my God. You must keep your seed in motion and and moving because when you think about it, a motion detector, it even first lady jacket, it the motion detector sometimes it picks up even the wind. Amen. And that's why, oh my God, oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. You must keep your seed in motion and moving. Oh my God, hallelujah. As you read this word, I'm telling you. Luke 8 and 11, the word of God is a seed. That's what the word is. That's what the word, you, you reading it. Amen. It, it connects. The word connects. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
this word connects to the spirit realm, the spirit man. Amen. Hallelujah. The flesh wants the worldly things of the world. It desires. Oh, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. But I'm glad. Somebody should say, I'm glad. Somebody should say, I'm glad that trouble don't last always. I'm glad. Oh, my God. That trouble don't last always. Oh, my God. I'm glad that trouble don't last always. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And we bless God for the word of God on today. And I pray that you receive something from this message. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I thank you. I thank God for you all. And I thank God for the word of God, for the people of God, and all that love the Lord. Let's see some praying hands. Amen. 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 Give us some amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm through. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm out of time. Glory. Hallelujah. But never out of messages. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. And amen. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. We serve an awesome God, y'all. Awesome God. I'm telling you, it's like fire, like Jeremiah said. Shut up in my bone. Glory. Hallelujah. Hey, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm telling you, as you get older, as you begin to just trust God, you can sit back and relax. And I'm telling you, the seed that you sow now mm, is going to produce harvest in the future for generation to come. Your children, children, children. Oh, my God. And that's why we got to protect it. We got to speak over it. Ah, oh my God. Hallelujah. So we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God. And we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy on today. I'm telling you, I, I'm, oh my God. Glory, hallelujah. Trouble don't last always. Amen. You can, you can bank on that. Hallelujah. You can bank on that. And we thank God for it. Sowing, reaping, and manifestation time. Subtitle, The Mustard Seed. Amen. The smallest of them all. Be not despised a small beginning. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Let me just pray. Father, we thank you, dear God, for the word that has gone forth. I pray, dear God, that the people of God has received it, that they can share it. Even those that's viewing, that might be viewing it later. And Father, we thank you even as it goes forth, dear God. I pray, dear God, for salvation. I pray for deliverance. I pray, dear God, for healing. I pray, dear God, for fresh revelation, understanding that the people of God, dear God, that we got this and we will go forth with power. I pray, dear God, for those that don't know you, those that need to receive salvation. Romans 10 and 9, if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus that God raised and believe within thy heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. I pray for those that don't know Christ, that they will come and surrender all to you on this day. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory for everyone there, God, every household, every household that's watching, every household that's connected to the household that watching. We speak blessing, miracles, signs, and wonders into your life into your family life, generation to come. We speak healing, we speak deliverance, we speak spiritual, physically, and financially blessing. You are blessed. And Father, we thank you for the word of God on today. Thank you, Lord. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Ah, oh my God. We bless God for the word of God. I pray. For each and every one of you all, we'll come back with after church uh, about 11.30, 11.35, probably about 11.35, and we'll go come back with after church. And uh, for some of you all who will be joining us for after church, and I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for God. I'm thankful and grateful for the Holy Spirit. 
I'm thankful and grateful for each and every one of you all. And I'm telling you, it's and I, I, I can testify and I, I thank God for all of you all. The word works. Amen. The word work. You just got to work it. <laughs> Amen. The word work. Amen. Ah, oh my God. Mm, God is not a man that he should lie. If he said it, that settles it. It's already done. Blessing. Amen. Miracle. Amen. Healing. Amen. Signs. Wonders. Oh my God. So much. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Overflow into other household. Oh hey, my, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Glory. Hallelujah. So we bless God for his grace and we bless God for his mercy. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May he, his face shine upon each and every one of you all. Oh my God, I, I just keep hearing blessing, blessing, glory, hallelujah. You are God, oh my God, blessing in your household that's overflowing into others. Oh my God, even the enemy seeing how blessed you are. My God, that mustard seed is up. Amen. To God be the glory. So we love y'all and we thank God for y'all. And I'm telling you, we are praying each and every day. To God be the glory. Much love, much love, much blessing to each and every one of y'all. Amen. To God be the glory for all that he has done. And we thank God. Enjoy your day. And like I said, we'll come back with after church at 1135. And we'll go from there and trust and believe that God said it. That settles it. It's already done. Amen. Bless you.